Okay guys, we are in for some fun and exciting stuff today. We are going to create a digital portfolio. Um, what we basically want to do in this portfolio is we want to be able to, over time, add goals, accomplishments, creative examples of things that you've done in class, all of these things. We're going to set this up today and we're going to add our digital badges and then we'll add a little bit more over time. So first thing you're going to want to do is log into Chrome like how you normally would so you can get to your Gmail account. Up here in the top right corner, we are going to go to Sites. That's what we're going to use to create our portfolio. So once it loads up, you might have a little screen um, that says like create a new website. You will click on that if that's your first time ever logging into Google Sites. What I'm going to do since I have a couple of sites already created, I just click this create button. Okay, so you might have had something that showed uh, this icon right here. You just click through that and then click create. Okay, um, for now we are going to use a blank template, so that is good. Right here, what I would like for you to do is I would like you to put your first name and then your portfolio. So your name and then apostrophe F portfolio, learning portfolio. If you want to put e-portfolio for electronic, that's fine. If you want to put digital portfolio, that's fine as well. So I'll give you some choice on that one. We can always go back in there and change if we need to. And then what we will do is scroll down here and we're going to select a theme. So don't spend too much time on this, guys. Just kind of pick one that you really grabs your eye. Just Go to it. We can always change it later if we need to. I don't want you to spend a lot of time on it because we do have to build some pages. So just go ahead and click one that you like. Um, I'm going to click on this one. And then once you pick the one that you like, let's go ahead and click Create. So what it's going to do is it's going to create our web address. It's going to set it up for us. Okay, so everyone's page is going to look something like this. Now what we're going to be using a lot of today is the icons that are up here. So this one allows us to edit the page that we're working on right now. This will allow us to create pages, which is what we're going to work on. And then the settings um, allows us to go in and kind of manage our site and edit the layout. The first thing we're going to do is add all of our pages. So we want to create a page. So these are going to be all pages that are within this one website, within a learning portfolio. So the first one we're going to do is academic samples. And all we have to do is click create once we have that page. And it shows up over here. You'll see it on the left hand side. Um, then we're going to save. Okay, we want to create another page, and this is going to be Achievements. We'll click Create. Click Save. Create another page. This will be Community Service. Save. One more page. This page will be extracurricular activities. And it's a web page. We're going to click create again. Okay, I click, oh, let's click save. Okay, all changes have been saved. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see all of our different pages. Right now we're on the extracurricular activities. I'm just going to click back to home just so we can see what it all looks like. Come over here, and we're going to edit site layout right down here. You'll click there. Hey, okay, once you do that. You can have, um, this is what tell, tells you what to do with your header. Your horizontal navigation is what is going to give you your tabs up along your top. So when you click that button, what happens is that it will add a tab right up along here. What we can do 
um, you'll notice we do not have one for academic samples or achievements. We can add those to there. So you have to click off of the tab, and then you're going to add your page. So the page that we want to add is academic samples. You click OK. Notice it added here up at the top. Right here we can change this to go to tab, and then we click OK. You'll notice the tab has been added. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for all of our tabs up along the side. So click off of the tab bar. We're going to add a page. We want to do achievements. Click OK. Make sure it's a tab. Click OK again. And it'll add it on there. Continue to add your tab. So now that we have all of our tabs here, it might seem kind of silly to have your tabs up along the top and then your tabs on the side or your links on the side. So what you can do is you can choose to take those off by pressing this button and that will remove it from there. Where I need you to go now is to go back to your Google Drive and we need to pull up the badges that you have earned in Digital University because what we're going to do is we are going to paste them in our achievements section of our learning portfolio. So go back, you can keep your tab open, go back to your drive and your drive should be organized in nice neat folders by subject and then you have a folder that is labeled badges. I want you to open up that folder. For me, I'm going to have to click through to a couple of things in order to get there. Okay, so once you have your badges open, what we need to do with these is we need to turn them into JPEGs. Right now, they are Google Drawings. So what we will do is you can right-click on this if you're working on a regular computer and hit Download. If you are working on the uh, Chromebooks, it might be easier, remember you put two fingers in the center in order to right click, and usually that works to get it open, but if it doesn't work for you, um, just click the file open. And then once it comes up, you will click file and download as, and you will do it as a JPEG. And then it's gonna download right down here at the bottom. Go ahead and do that with the rest of the badges that you have earned. And you're going to see them all come down here to the bottom. So from your badges screen, I need you to go ahead and click on back over to your learning portfolio. Click on achievements because this is where we're going to put our digital badges. And what we're doing since we're working just on the page, we're going to edit the page. So we're going to click on this little pencil right here. First thing we want to do is we want to title this. So we're going to type in digital badges. On this page is where you're going to put anything that you've ever been recognized for, whether it be a science fair project, um, maybe you broke a record in, in PE for the shortest uh, or for the fastest run, you know, just anything like that. You want to put and log these achievements in here. This top section, we're going to save it for the digital badges, but we can always add on to this as we go. And we'll talk about it more as we work more with our learning portfolio through Digital University. So right in here, make sure you hit enter. I want you on the second line right here. We need to insert a table. What a table is going to do for us on a web page is it's going to keep everything in line. If you've ever gone to a website before where things are kind of crooked or like the paragraph like kind of leans goes over to the side, things like that, it's because that web designer did not use tables. So it's really important to use tables when you're designing a website. So we are going to go to tables, insert table, and we are just going to do a four by two now. So that's eight badges right there. If we need to add any, we can always add it, add some later. So we want to do the four by two and then you just click. And what it does is it automatically inserts the table for us. So in this first box, is where we want to put our badges. So what we're going to do, our cursor should be inside that very first block. So we're going to insert image. 
and we want to, I already have mine because I've already played with it before, but what you'll want to do is go to Upload Image, and then in your Downloads, Chromebooks, you should automatically go into your Downloads. Everyone else, you'll just click here on Download. We want to go Challenge 1, and then Open, and then it's going to upload that JPEG for us. That's it right there, and I want to click OK. Now, you can see that I put it in there really, really big. So what we want to do is, right here is where you can play around with the size. We want to go small. So we're just going to press the small button. And there we have it, right in there. Now, here goes our next badge. So same thing. We want to insert image. We want to upload our image. I'm looking for challenge two. I want to click open. And then challenge two, that's my badge. I want to click OK. Click it small in there. Insert our next badge. Insert image. Upload the image. Challenge three. Open. It's going to upload it. And then we're going to click OK. Go small. And then there we have our three badges. Click off of the screen right here. We want to click Save so we can take a look at what it looks like. So when you click on this page, you're going to notice it looks like we got a lot of lines going on. It doesn't look that clean. So if we want to clean that up, what we're going to do is we're going to edit the page. And then we're going to click over here. And this right here gives us the HTML code for the web page. So everything that we're designing and organizing is done so because of code. So this is the code behind our work, behind the way that it's laid out. And you're going to notice right in here it says table border 1. I want you to change that to 0. And then what that's going to do is it's going to take out that extra line. So we're going to click preview. It's going to show us what that looks like. That looks a lot nicer, a lot cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and click update. And then we're going to save. One final thing that we need to do before you finish is we need to clear out your downloads. 